TTs, welcome back to the channel. It looks like we got some new chilling information on the rapper Rich Homie Kwan. Now we know the original information that we got about Rich Homie Kwan's passing was that he passed on September the 5th and that his girlfriend Rella, who they lived in the Atlanta home together, um, she found him on the couch unresponsive, okay? Now we got some new information saying that actually originally his brother was the person who found him at 3 a.m. even before his girlfriend found him on the couch, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and get into the original information, then we're going to get into the new information that was recently released today by the Atlanta Police Department. Um, the original information was Lamar's girlfriend, which is Rich Homie Kwan's girlfriend, said that she woke up around 6.45 a.m. to get the kids ready for school, and she noticed that he wasn't in their bedroom. Now she spotted him asleep on the couch and left to drop the kids off at school. Now when she returned home, she saw that the rapper was still asleep, so she went back to bed. She told the police that she woke up around 11 a.m. to check on Rich Homie Kwan and observed that his body was cold and then she decided to call 911. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into the full 911 call. Okay. 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 And then we're 911 you? operator 7214. What is the location of your emergency? All right, you need police fire or ambulance? I need an ambulance. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, my boyfriend, he's been asleep on the couch, um, since this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night, sleep on the couch. I left him on the couch before, before I took my son to school this morning and put a blanket over him. And now I just checked on him again because he never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. And you said, hold on, you said on the couch and what happened? I said I put a cover over him because he gets a little cool and he's in the living room. And now I just checked on him because I see he never got up. And I don't see him breathing. I don't feel a heartbeat or anything. And I turned him over. I don't get the mouth. I'm sorry. Are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes. Yes. Okay, ma'am. If there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Is there a what? If there's a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. I need to know about how old um he is. He's um thirty four. Okay, are you right by by him now? Yes. Okay, please put your phone on speaker so your hands are free to help. Can I add his dad to the call? He's trying to call me back because I called him first before I called you. Okay, so we need to help. We need to help your boyfriend now. Okay, listen carefully. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. He is not waking up. Quick. Ma'am? <coughs> yes? Okay, you, you got to get him to the floor. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. Flat on his back on the floor? Yes, ma'am. Help me. What's He's not here. Yeah, he. Were you able to get him to the floor? Yes, he's not. Your not now that was Rich Homie Kwan's girlfriend who he lived with slash his baby mother Rella calling 911. Now let's go ahead and get into that information that was released today. It says around 3 a.m. actually, Lamar's brother, Rich Homie Kwan's brother, said that he found the rapper asleep on the floor near the kitchen counter. He advised me that it was very unusual because he had food in his mouth. He lifted him up and put him on the sofa. The officer wrote in the report. So this was really 
rich homie Quan's brother coming forward and saying, actually, I found my brother asleep near the counter in the kitchen around 3 a.m. before his girlfriend actually found him. And I'm the person who decided to put him on that couch. I put him on the sofa in the living room. And then later on, Rella, you know, once she woke up, she found him at 11 a.m. unresponsive on the couch. Now, of course, this is going all over and circulating the blogs right now. And a lot of Rich Homie Kwan's fans, I've observed that a lot of his fans are very upset because they felt like his brother could have did something. Like your brother could have called 911 before your girlfriend found you at 11 a.m. A lot of people are questioning his brother, like, why didn't you call the police? Nobody really understands the situation. I'm just going to say that I'm guessing that maybe this is not the first time that they've seen Rich Homie Kwan just in the living room doing his thing on the sofa near the kitchen and stuff like that. Even though the brother did say in this police report that it was very unusual because he found food in his mouth it's not really saying if it's unusual for him to even be in the living room and around the kitchen and on the floor the way that he was he's not really saying what kind of state was his brother in was he unresponsive did it seem like he was like what was going on with his brother you found food in his mouth but you didn't feel the need to check on him or call 911. Like I said, this information is just very unusual, and we are definitely waiting for more information to be released by his brother. Maybe his brother can do some type of interview or something like that along those lines. Now, I know that Rich Homie Kwan's dad has actually decided to speak out, and he let it be known. The only thing that he let it be known was that Rich Homie Kwan was in the midst of dropping a project. He was going to drop a few songs, 25 songs actually, to be exact. So, that's what he was working on. Now, I noticed another thing that fans have been pointing out since Rich Homie Kwan's passing was that he recently did an interview or he recently did a video with a YouTuber and his name is Bubba100. And this video is called Living with Rich Homie Kwan for 24 Hours. And this is a very interesting video that he did with Rich Homie Kwan two months before him passing. Very interesting, very ironic that he did this video with him, right? So he's sitting down with Rich Homie Kwan in one part of this video and he's asking him questions, right, about his life. And Rich Homie Kwan let it be known that he hasn't indulged in substances in over six years, or I believe he said about six years. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into that video clip. I don't do What's out? My bad. You feel the way you was doing at the time? Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, you feel uh, uh, You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Of course I smoke. I'm doing like, you know. Nah, I ain't no putting that in my nose. No sir. Let me stop that now. Yeah, I've been clean on my like six years. That's dope, bro. That's a, that's progression. Yeah, next gonna be the you gonna stop smoking? No, never. I ain't never heard nobody. Yeah. How many cars you got? So of course, seeing that video that he did two months ago, saying that he hasn't indulged in substances in six years, and he was so adamant about encouraging young people not to do drugs. This doesn't make sense. How could he pass due to substances if he was encouraging everybody else to stay away from these substances? It just does not make sense. Man, you know, yeah. don't do, don't do. Man, my thing will be yellow because I be smoking, bro. I smoke, man. I don't know why I do that. It's like, when I get, but if I don't get my nail D, it don't turn that cold. Stay off, man. The best friend I had. It's been a couple long, but at the time, with Khalifa, that, uh, Khalifa, 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 Khalifa Kush, KK, but I feel like the strongest in life right now. There's no better if I got a strong. How about thugging? How about a less free thugging, man? Look, y'all, don't come in here spamming, man. Here, we all know, I see it every time. Free thugger, free lucha, free anybody locked up. Don't come on my live with that, though, man, please. I'm in a good spirit today. And we gonna keep it that way. You feel me? I'm ready to see you in the movie, some movie, bro. We working on Be in the mood. But I don't want to be like, no. I want not want to go out like the uh, Denzel Road. Like, I don't want to be I can change the way I talk. I don't have to talk like I'm from the hood. I can switch it up at times. You know, it really depends. It, re it really depends. 
You know, my vernacular scratches beyond. <laughs> it's T.I.S. Now that live that you guys just watched was said to be one of the lives that Rich Homie Kwan got on before he passed. Now you guys can see he has this bottle in his hand and it has a yellow label. It looks like it could have been a yellow Fanta or something along those lines, like maybe a pineapple soda, right? But we can see the liquid inside, it's purple. So I'm really hoping that it's not what we think it is, even though he's being adamant on this live, like he has constantly been before he passed. And he was like, stay off of DRU. GS. He was encouraging everybody and young people to stay off of substances, but it's so weird because it seems like he was indulging in it himself, okay? Now, maybe after his video, it's a possibility that after his video with Bubba, he relapsed because people are talking about, and his father was even talking about how he's coming out with the project. Erica Banks was talking about how he had so much going on that he was doing. He was working on, you know, setting up things to start performing again, putting out this music. So maybe he felt like he had so much pressure on him and that caused him to relapse. We don't know what's factual. We're definitely waiting for more information to come out. And if his brother has any more information, I will definitely bring it to you guys and let you guys know. It is a a little weird that his brother found him with food in his mouth but he's not really saying the state that his brother was in like was he unresponsive did it just seem like he was asleep I mean maybe he just felt like his brother was asleep but somebody with food in their mouth and they're just sleep like that I don't know I would be a bit concerned I want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section I'm not trying to do the police job not trying to do investigators job within you know rich homie Kwan's passing I'm just bringing the information that I've been seeing online and that fans have been pointing out okay and that's my job to bring it to you guys but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section it's definitely still prayers up for his family his friends and his loved ones like i said let me know what you think in the comment section once again thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload and follow me on instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end like i always say i'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night